This is the Electronic Church of God, Arizona, presenting the Lord's Care Ministry, provided by James Berg, narrated by Forrest Grote. Thank you. Welcome to May 12th, the fifth work day of the week that we shall call a Thursday. Well, brother, I think it's time to get right on over into the Lord's Care Ministry, a year to keep your eyes on heaven, day 131 of the year 2011. Today we're going to talk about praying for gifts, praying for for gifts. I suggest again, brethren, you write the chapter and verse down on a pad and paper so that you can go back and study the whole context at your own leisure. You can use the pause button down here in the corner, brother, to start and stop this video study as we go along so that you'll be able to have your pick up your Bible and be able to read along with us. That way you'll get much more out of it. Well, today, brother, we're going to start and we're going to go to Exodus chapter 31, verses 1 through 6, to read about praying for gifts. And we're going to start in Exodus chapter 31 and verse 3. I have filled him with the Spirit of God, giving him great skill in all kinds of crafts. God commissioned Moses with the task of building the Ark of the Covenant and the Tabernacle and all the other things needed for worship and sacrifice. And many in his camp were probably wondering how they were going to pull it all off. Who among them was qualified for such fine craftsmanship? The minute God finished his instruction, he empowered Moses' people to complete them. He filled Bazel with his spirit and gave him the skills he needed for cutting and setting gemstones and in carving wood. He appointed Alolab to be Bazel's assistant. God said, I have given special skills to all the naturally talented craftsmen so they can make all the things I have instructed you to make. To make. See Exodus chapter 31 and verses 1 through 6. Our Lord thinks of everything. I know a man who was just naive enough to think that maybe, just maybe, if God gave a skill to Bazzelli and o o Olab, pardon my pronunciation, then he might give him one as well. So he set his heart to pray. His name is Mark, and at the time he is recuperating from construction accident, he had slipped off a roof and landed 20 feet below on his back, fracturing his leg in several places. Doctors did not hold much hope he had ever returned to his old job. So we prayed for a skill, a Pacific one. He wanted to be a sculptor. He had never done it before and had no idea how to begin except to pray. He clung to the story of Bazzelli and oh, oh, Holab, as I say again, I pardon me on the pronunciation, and believe God for a miracle. Today, Mark, a gifted sculpture, undoubtedly the most talented one I have ever run across. We have one of his pieces in our home. 
He has won national and international awards for his art. His bronze sculpture graced the halls of some of the finest buildings in the world. Mark never took a lesson, never took a class. He did not even practice much. He simply prayed for a skill and picked a lump of clay and started molding. God anointed his hands with power. Do you believe God has done great things in the past? Why not believe that he can do great things today? What is keeping you from praying a bold prayer for God's supernatural gifting? Why not believe today that he can do so? Brethren, in God's word only do we trust, never in the tradition of men. Beware of the tradition of men that make void the word of God. As I said yesterday, and if you go back to yesterday's video too, you will find the places where it says, not to believe the tradition of men, but believe the tradition of God. One of God's tradition is if you pray and you believe, have faith in your heart that it can be done, it will be done. If God thinks it's good for you. If not, it won't answer. Well, brethren, if you want God to be on your side, get down on your knees and ask for forgiveness for following the tradition of men. Ask Him to show you the way. Show you the way to the good tidings that He can bestow upon you. And brethren, if you truly believe in your heart, it can happen. And while you're on your knees, ask for the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding that He has given you in the word He has sent to you. And that word is in your own Bible. Well, brethren, with that we're going to close for today. You all have a great and wonderful day. I know I will. God willing. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye for now.